Yo, what up? I lost the paint to my spackle, so I need to get more, but they're closed. They open in six hours, so instead of sleeping, I'm gonna try and unpack my filming room. First, I'm building my makeup drawers. I'm almost done with this one. Not bad. Now I'm gonna put the drawers in. Also, it's morning now. I'm gonna go get the paint. I got the paint, and I'm putting these on top of the boxes so I can get the edges. Here goes nothing. I just hope I don't make a giant mess. Almost done. I'm so excited. These are so cute. I really, I was worried for a second. It turned out so cute. I can't wait to hang them up. I keep decorating my room when I wake up, but I'm so tired. Good night. Part two, I'm so excited. I have to take it all down because my light's broke. It's all over here now. Do I just leave it there and go to sleep? Yes, no, yeah. I feel like I'm gonna be here all night. Now I'm putting on the new ones. This looks so good. I'm gonna put the rope light up now. I'm doing the same paint drop thing like last time. I think that looks good. Oh yeah, yeah. I can finally put the cups back. This is gonna look so good. Finally, this looks so good. So this is with the lights on and the lights off. Next, I'm gonna finish decorating my room. I have to make nightstands. Anyways, I'll see you in that video. Yoda. I'm still trying to become that girl, but I can't be that girl without a cute entryway. <laughs> okay, one of my lights just fell on me. Anyways, first I'm gonna hang up the mirror. Okay, this is my favorite 3 a.m. purchase I've ever made. I have to clean it though, it's very dirty. I got this acrylic table from Home Goods. That's gonna go in the middle. Now I'm gonna decorate. I found these books on Amazon. I thought they were so cute. I'm gonna use the orange and yellow. Look how cute this chunky mug is. I'm gonna put it on top of the books. And a squiggle candle right behind it. I'm not sure what to do with the other side, so I'm going with this plant. A bubble candle that smells so bad, but it's really cute, so it's fine. Lastly, a tray. Clear or checkered, though. Yep, that's pretty much it. I love it so much. Next, I'm finishing part two of my Starbucks cups. I think it looks better without the rug. Anyways, okay, bye. Yo, what up? I'm finally gonna unpack my Starbucks cups. I'm so excited. I'm gonna move all this to a different corner and deal with it later. Okay, that's embarrassing. I actually have a lot of space. Now I'm gonna take all the cups out and lay them on the floor. Keep going, but there's too many layers, so there's a problem. I didn't think this through. I don't know which straws go with which cups, so I'm just gonna wing it. This looks kind of right. Now I'm gonna put the keychains next to their matching cup. Okay, kind of. It's not done yet. I still have a lot to do, like putting my lights up. I need to reorganize this because it's not doing it for me. See you in part two. Part two, I'm gonna restock and decorate the shower. First, I'm taking everything out. Also, I broke a nail, so don't mind that. I tried anyway. So clean. Finally, now I'm gonna put these clear shelves up. You guys, it looks so good. Let's put my stuff back. Top shelf's gonna hold shampoo and conditioner, hair mask, hair clip for the hair mask, or shampoo and conditioner. Next shelf's gonna hold body conditioner, body scrub. These shower gels are my favorite. They smell so good. Look at these mini tree hub body scrubs. They're so cute and they smell amazing. Lastly, candy cane shave oil. Last shelf's gonna hold body wash and body conditioner. Also, I bought this thinking it was candy cane body wash, but it wasn't. It's conditioner. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that right here. I'm also gonna put a Christmas tree here. And this, I don't know, but it's festive. I put up these acrylic hooks to hold my loofah, my razor. Oh, nice, I'm running out of time. See you in part three. Yo, what up? I'm finally gonna unpack and organize my new kitchen. I have an island now, by the way. <laughs> First, I'm organizing all the cups. I think I'll put all the clear ones on one shelf. I don't know. Got my nails done, by the way. I think they're so cute. Little girls. These remind me of being in chemistry. Next shelf is gonna hold my water bottles. And these ones on the other side. Almost forgot about these clear ones. Lastly, all my mugs are going on top. This is my favorite mug. It's so cute, except this part. Why'd they ruin it? Okay, I'm finally done. I'm gonna put my cutting board back and my flower vase. Still have to figure out how to decorate this area, but at least this part's done. Anyways, next I'm organizing my Starbucks cups. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. Yo, what up? Decorating my room part three. I need nightstands, so I'm gonna try and make them. Hopefully I don't make a giant mess. Throwing that hope out the window. This is gonna be so messy. Now I'm putting on primer. Not sure if you have to, but just in case. Next I'm putting drywall tape all over. Time for the messy part. I'm gonna mix everything in this bucket. I'm gonna start with two parts plaster. And a cup of water. Well, I already messed up. It's very watery. Okay, I figured it out. I'm pouring the whole box in here. Then I'm adding water and mixing till it looks like frosting. Yeah, I did it. Okay, first layer. I'm done. I'm never doing that again. I cleaned up the mess because it was that bad. Anyways, I primed it with this. Now I'm gonna put them in my room. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. I think they're so cute. Still have a lot to do, but I'm gonna take a break and start working on my kitchen. L O L. Yeah, it needs help. Yo, what up? I found these mini verse make it mini food balls, and they remind me of my old recipe videos. So I'm gonna try to make whatever's inside. First, I'm gonna open them. Also, don't mind my broken nail. Look how cute this is, and there's actually ingredients inside. Look at the mini sprinkles. It also comes with a collection guide and recipe cards. I'm gonna try and grab the donuts with these mini tongs. Okay, yeah. Now I'm gonna put on the glaze. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, there we go. Lastly, the sprinkles. This is so cute. Okay, now I need to let this sit in the sun. I'm gonna make another one while I wait for that one. Now I'm making a strawberry parfait. First vanilla cream, cake bites, and strawberries. Look at the little slices. And I'm putting whole strawberries on top. It's in the sun now. I'm gonna hurry and put the spoon in. Just took them out of the sun. The resin is cured. These are literally so cute. I'm gonna make the rest of these and try and collect them all. I'm gonna try and make an aesthetic hot chocolate bar again. First, I'm building the sprinkles. This one's gonna be blue with white snowflakes, peppermint, marshmallow, Christmas, I don't know, s'mores, random blue one I'm gonna make. I'm gonna put them here. I'm so excited. Now I'm gonna fill the small containers. First one's gonna have polar bear marshmallows, gingerbread men, peppermint hot chocolate toppers, and these really cute snowman ones. These are gonna go on top. Now I'm gonna fill the bigger ones. Look what I found. I'm so excited to try these. Hot chocolate powder. That did not go as planned. Pretzels. Lastly, hot chocolate stirs. Now I'm just labeling everything. And that's it. It's so cute. Next, I'm setting up my glow spa, but it's gonna be Christmas themed. 
Unpacking my filming room part two. Now I'm gonna build the makeup table. Finally got a drill, you guys. I feel very professional. Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Boat Bear. I'm almost done. I have a few more screws. Then I have to try and flip it upside down. Oh, is this? Oh, it's not even heavy. Okay. How am I gonna get this on top of the table? Oh my gosh. This is so heavy. Oh, okay. I can't believe I did that. I'm so proud of myself. Now I'm gonna screw in the light bulbs. I think I lost my patience. Not much. Okay, sorry. Can't stop jumping around. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's like a dream. I finally start reorganizing my makeup. It's gonna take me all night. You know what? I'm going to bed. Just kidding. Just kidding again. I will see you in part three. Good night. Grab some strawberries. Wash them. Cut them. Grab some raspberries and do the same thing. Add some honey. I like to do two tablespoons. Lastly, add a quarter of a lemon. Now blend everything together. Make sure your consistency is thick. You don't want it to be runny. Grab a pan and line it with parchment paper. Grab your mixture and spread it onto your pan. So it should look something like this. Preheat your oven to its lowest setting. Mine goes down to 170. Now put it in your oven and bake it for three hours. See you guys in two hours and 58 minutes. Okay, this one is gonna blow your mind. Grab a bowl. Fill the bowl up with warm water. You'll need four pumps of kitchen lemon soap. It has to be kitchen lemon. It can't be any other scent. Then pour in just a little bit of detergent that much. Then pour in two tablespoons of Himalayan pink salt. Add in two tablespoons of baking soda. Almost done. Stay with me. You'll need a little bit of honey. Stir. It should look something like this. Now put in flowers or flower petals. So it looks like this. This is what it looks like from this side. Last thing, open up a tea bag. Like legit open it and pour what's inside in. Stir. Now this is the important part. Put it in the fridge and wait 24 hours. Kiss your cat. Walk your dog. Take it out. And see that it makes absolutely nothing. But follow me if I got you. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try and turn my new bathroom into a Christmas glow spa. It's time! That's when I stopped the video. Anyways, pay. First I'm painting my shower doors. Hopefully this comes off in a month. Just kidding, it will because TikTok told me it would. <laughs> Help. Okay, what do you guys think? I try to make it look like snow in a window. I also got a mini Christmas tree for the bathroom. Let's decorate it. Please enjoy this ASMR bathroom over there. Simple but so cute. Time for the lights. Okay, ready? The best thing about these lights? They change color. Can't decide. Tree skirt? No tree skirt. They both look good. Found this mini star. I don't know if it ruins it though. Star? No star. Yeah, no star. Now I'm putting rope lights above my mirror. Changing out the soap. Okay, so far so good. Next I'm working on my shower and dealing with this closet. See you in part two. Grab some juice. I chose watermelon water. Pour one cup into a measuring cup. Grab some drink enhancer. You can get this at Walmart. Pour in about half a teaspoon. Pour the mixture into a pot. Turn to medium heat. Let it sit for five minutes, then take it off of the stove. Pour the mixture back into the measuring cup. Grab one ounce of unflavored gelatin, which is four packs. You can get this at Walmart. Grab a fork and stir. Grab some molds. They don't have to be shaped like this. I got these off of Amazon, and it comes with a little pipette. Grab your pipette and start filling up the molds. Last few. I'm so excited. Grab your molds and put them into the fridge for three hours. See you in three hours. Part two, I'm going to fill these with dried fruit. First strawberry, banana, raspberries. Blueberry, mango, and cherries. I'm gonna put them on these shelves I got off Amazon. I'm gonna put everything on my Amazon storefront, by the way. Anyways, let's fill these. This one's gonna have crushed Oreos. This one's gonna have chocolate chips. You can twist these and everything comes out so easy. That's why my favorite toppings are in them. Putting the chocolate and caramel drizzle up here. Put some tea down here. Now I'm gonna put the sprinkles in rainbow order. YG approved, except that's pink. Lastly, I put these lollipops in this mushroom cup. Now let's make some soda and ice cream. This is my favorite thing I've ever made. Too bad I have to pack it up. And I have to pack my pantry because I got my keys to my new place. So yeah, I have to hurt. Yo, what up? I've been so busy moving. I kind of forgot to take care of myself with my normal body care routine. You know, with all the products, all the moisturization. Look at this. I'm only going to show you once. It's so bad. I'm going to try to fix my dry skin ASAP. I did start reusing Olay's Hyaluronic Acid Body Wash though. So I guess I have been doing something. I've been loving this body wash because it helps lock in the extra moisture my skin is probably screaming for. And it smells really good. Something new I haven't tried is their Hyaluronic Acid Body Lotion. I used to put on lotion straight out of the shower. And then again, once I'm dry, you know, to seal it in. So let's try it. Okay, first off, immediate difference. I'm glowing. Second, I feel very moisturized. <laughs> I'm gonna try that for a few days and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So, hello. After finally trying the lotion, I feel moisturized all day and finally my skin doesn't feel so dry. The difference is insane. Can you see that? Definitely adding this to my daily routine. I Yoda, follow me. <laughs> I'm gonna try and organize under the kitchen sink. Okay, first I'm taking everything out. Now I'm gonna fill the mini drawers with all the small stuff. This one's gonna hold sink cleaning stuff. Magic erasers. Scrub daddies. I have to put them in like this or they won't fit. Dishwasher pods. Next, please. <laughs> And cleaning sponges on the side. I'm excited about this one. It's a cup cleaning drawer. Lastly, cleaning rags. And trash bags. Now I'm going to put the drawers back in the cabinet. I'm putting four on this side. And the other four like this so I can stack cleaners on top. Putting a few more on this side in this bucket. 
lastly a section for lotion because i always keep it by my sink this looks so good i actually want to clean now if only the rest of my house could look like this but if it did i wouldn't have a tiktok so i really want to start christmas decorating so guess what the next video is gonna be yo what up i'm gonna decorate my living room for christmas i'm so excited first i'm gonna use these Govi neon lights and white lights a diy candy cane and a snowflake on my wall wish me luck starting with a snowflake i'm putting it on this wall almost done just need one more this is so cute time for the candy cane i'm putting it right there ready for my masterpiece I tried doing swirls in the middle, and I think it looks so good. Now I'm going to add Govi Christmas string lights to my tree to give it more color. Lastly, I'm adding these Govi LED strip lights to my couch and my TV stand. Oh my gosh, you guys, everything turned out so perfect. Look at the candy cane. I DIY'd it to where it's white and red on the inside. I think it's so cute. And the snowflake, I'm obsessed. I even did white and red under the couch. And the TV stand, you can even see the Christmas tree. This room is definitely giving Christmas. Love this so much. Well, can I, guys? I'm going to be here for the next month. Part three, I have an idea. What if I turn my glow spot closet into a mini store slash pop-up shop? So that's what we're doing. First, I'm going to show you what I got. Also, I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. What do I do? found these smiley face bath bombs at Lush. I almost KO'd when I saw them, but just wait. Also had sad faces. Now I can properly take a sad bath. Also found these cloud ones. This one's really cool. You can actually open it and there's stuff inside. Like, what is that? Candy cane bubble bar and this ghost. Checkered bar soap. Apparently, Play-Doh soap is a thing. So, yeah. I got that. This is a gift. This is for me, of course. I want to try it out, too. Last thing from Lush are these. You pour it in your hand in the shower and it's body scrub, basically. These are from Target. They're shower steamers. This one smells like Fruit Loops. Can someone run to Target and tell me I'm wrong? Like, is my nose broken? I smell Fruit Loops. I these are always sold out. Mini tree had body scrub and I got the bigger one. Lollipop soap and these jars to put everything in. I'm gonna go start organizing everything. I'll be right back. Yo, what up? I'm gonna go last minute Christmas shopping for Courtney. So if you're watching this, please stop. She doesn't even know. We don't have Duncan where I live, so I'm getting this, that, and that. Oh, they're out of the cream. Now I'm gonna get some gift wrap. I'm thinking this one and this one. So I'll have to organize everything because, uh, yeah. It's giving Valentine's Day, but let's just say candy cane. Yeah, candy cane vibes. I like that better. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Yo, what up? Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases, but for my new house. <laughs> Took me 17 times to say that. First is cutting board from Nordstrom. It's wavy. I've never seen a wavy cutting board. Once I clean my dump site, it's gonna go over here somewhere. This is from Etsy. It's a cloud and a cube. That's all. It makes me very happy. You can't stop looking at it. It's really cool. Next, an oil diffuser from Seasons. It's giving very much a life in the dream house. I'll figure out how to use that later. Everything else is from Amazon, so I'll just put it on my storefront. But next, I got these disco ball drink stirs. Hazel, stop looking at me. Next, I found this tray. It's also wavy. I think I'm going to use it for my kitchen sink to hold my soap and lotion. This face, it's so cute, and I'm putting tulips in them, which are also from Amazon. But anyways, they feel real. But they smell like chemical. Really bad. Hopefully, that goes away. I saw this in pink, but I really like the green. I'm running out of time. I'll see you in part two of decorating my room or unpacking my filming room. I can't decide. Grab some strawberries. Wash them. Cut them sideways. They should look like this. Place your strawberries onto a plate. Grab a paper towel and lightly pat them down. Also, when I said sideways, I meant vertical. They look something like this. Set them aside and grab a bowl. Grab some strawberry cake mix and pour it into the bowl. Preheat your oven to 350. Add in one egg, four ounces of cream cheese, one third cup of butter. It is a really thick consistency, so it's going to look a little crusty at first. Don't over mix it. Once you get it to look like this, you're done. Line a 9x9 nine nine inch pan with some parchment paper and put your mixture in. Spread it evenly in the pan. Your strawberries should be kind of dry. Start placing them onto the mix. They should look like this and they're ready to bake. Place them into your oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm running out of time. I'll see you guys in part two. I've been really wanting to try this. So you get a coconut, poke a hole in it with a screwdriver, clean it of course, then pour the juice out. Once you do that, put it in a Ziploc bag, then put it into another Ziploc bag, and then... Yay! Okay, that did nothing to it. We're going to do it one more time. And... Yay! Make sure you do sound effects because it won't crack if you don't. Now just grab a spoon and start peeling it out. Now wash your coconut and cut it into long strips. Now cut up a lime and squeeze it all over. Just realize how many times I've said now. Grab some classic seasoning. I'm just kidding, don't come for me. It's called tahine and pour it all over. You can choose between chamoy, valentina, or both and just pour it all over. And you're done. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Wow! Yes. Oh, wow. When you have a straw collection and you're too hesitant to show it. These are my blue watermelon, I mean marble, <laughs> marble straws. My hip straws, they open to me cleaning easier. And they're the ones I use the most. My favorite color changing straws. Seriously, not in the mood right now. It's me grabbing waffles from my ice maker machine. Oh.
I was just trying to show you the colors that my straws change to when they touch ice. <laughs> anyway, these are my favorite bended metal straws. My favorite straight metal straw. My favorite Starbucks straws. And these straws that I use for my cereal because it has a little straw to drink the milk at the end. What was I gonna say? Anyway, I'm just kidding. I don't even use them. I just bought them because they look cool. Yeah. <laughs> Grab some Oreos. This time you'll need about 37. Crush them in a food processor. Bye. Or a Ziploc bag. It should look something like this. Measure out about a cup and put it into a separate bowl. Treat those to the side. <gasps> Yikes. Grab six tablespoons of butter. Bye, BB. Can someone come clean my fridge? Put it in the microwave until it's melted. Oh, my camera's dirty. <gasps> wow. That was terrible. Add the butter to the bigger bowl of Oreos. It should look like uh, wet dirt when you pat it down. Grab some liners and line your cupcake pan. Add in about one tablespoon of the mixture to each liner. Now pack them down as hard as you can. Preheat your oven to 350. Bake for five minutes and then take them out. Grab that same bowl. 16 ounces of cream cheese. Yeah! Add in This is one of my favorite things to make. Add one cup of baking soda, half a cup of cornstarch, half a cup of citric acid, you can get this at Walmart, and half a cup of Epsom salt. Mix it all together. Set that aside and grab another bowl. You'll need one teaspoon of water, two teaspoons of coconut oil. Mix well. Slowly add the two mixtures together. The mixture should look like this, but if it doesn't, just add a little bit more water. Now this next part is optional. I grab five bowls and separate the mixture. Next, I add food coloring. Now that you have your color, you gotta work on the scent, and I just use doTERRA oils. You can add as many drops as you want. Lemon in that one, lavender in this one, peppermint, oof. I couldn't find my molds, but these will just have to do. You can add things like lavender, sparkles. Now add everything into the mold. This is what I have so far. Also, make sure to press down on your molds. Put them in the freezer to speed up the drying process. I'll see you in three hours. Grab some Starburst. Separate them by color and unwrap each one. You'll need about 20 each. Might take you a minute. You'll need a fourth of a cup of light corn syrup. And then one tablespoon of butter. You'll need a pot on medium heat and add your ingredients. Add your first color in. Constantly stir it until it's all melted. While that's going, pop two bags of popcorn. Grab a baking sheet or two and line them with parchment paper. When it's ready, your mixture should look like this. Add about four to six cups of popcorn into a bowl. And now pour your mixture in. Lightly stir your popcorn and then put it onto the parchment paper when you're done. It's going to look like this. Let that cool for about 10 minutes. Repeat the same butter and corn syrup recipe for each color. Like this. Once it's dry, start breaking it into pieces. It looks so good. I was at Walmart, right? I didn't know Wait. that they sold aloe vera there. <laughs> so we're just gonna eat. cut it open. So we're just washing the aloe vera that I didn't know was easily accessible. What in the jack and the crack? Wait, what did I just say? Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. And there you have it. Aloe vera. Wow. Oh, it's so slimy. Now, I don't know what I can create with this, but I will figure that out. By tomorrow. So, my friends, another adventure awaits. <laughs> See you in part two. Grab some limes. Wash them. You're going to need about eight of them. Cut the lime into pieces that look like this. To do that, cut a lime. Cut in half again. Cut in half again. Cut in half again. Put the limes into a blender. Change of recipe, we're only gonna be using five limes because I just realized it's just me and Daniel here. Okay, okay. Add in three quarters of a cup of sugar, half a cup of condensed milk, and you'll need about four cups of water. And we're blending, we are blending, yes, we are blending. Oh, snap. Grab a bowl with a strainer on top and pour your mixture in. See, we don't need all that. We don't need none of that. Put the mixture back into the blender and add three more cups of water. Blend that one more time. Grab a pitcher and pour it in. Oh yeah. Stir. Grab your cute cups out. <laughs> now you know how to make Brazilian limeade. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Wow.
Grab some strawberries, raspberries, a mango, dragon fruits, two apples, a lime, I mean lemon. Wash them, cut them into small cubes. Side note, dragon fruit to me tastes like paper. So use it if you want, but I just use it for looks. Now pour all of it in a bowl. Now cut your lemon and squeeze half in. Now this, now that, now boo stop looking at me. Add about one spoon of preserves and mix it all together. Once you're done, it should look like this. Cover the bowl with something and put it in the fridge. Next, grab flour tortillas. Tortillas, okay? Oh, yeah. Pour some olive oil on it and spread it on each side. You don't need a lot, so you can use what's left over for the next tortilla. You'll need a third of a cup of sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Mix it. Now sprinkle it onto the tortilla. Once they're covered on both sides, place them on a baking sheet. Preheat your oven to 350. Now bake it for about seven minutes. I don't have a lot of time left, but part two is already up, so I'll see you soon. I'm going to try to become that girl. Starting with my fridge, it's giving expiration date. Um, I'm going to take everything out so I can deep clean put most of it in the freezer because it's probably going to take me a few hours. I'm pretty sure I can take the shelves out. clean now it's time to fill it back up i got an egg container i feel so fancy this is so extra okay in this container i'm doing strawberries and raspberries this one will have blackberries and blueberries this is so pretty am i on pinterest i can eat a whole bag of cherries in one day so it's getting its own container so i can use it as a plate and grappas these are going on the middle shelf i cut up some watermelon so i'm putting it in this container same thing with pineapple this one's gonna have cut up vegetables to snack on crisper container thing i don't really know what it does but i'm putting my greens in it oh my gosh i didn't realize it was gonna take this much work to become that girl this is just the fridge i wasn't ready look how aesthetically pleasing this is wow <laughs> whose fridge is this not mine it's that girl's it's so beautiful now i'm gonna put the juices in separate i'm just kidding <laughs> I'm not doing that. Putting the cheese and butter here. Coffee and cream are going on this shelf. This stuff is so good, by the way. It tastes like a banana milkshake. Sauces, Capri Suns will go here because I'm addicted. Almost done. After six hours, this is what it looks like. And I love it so much. This is my favorite part. There's so much space. It looks like I need to go grocery shopping, but I don't. Next step, redecorating my bed. 